welcome to Norway. I arrived in Savanga a couple of hours ago now and uh, well I'm basically riding home. Plan is to ride from here back to England. Um, I've never been to Norway or any of the Scandinavian countries for that matter. So the plan is to ride through uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark into Germany and then I'll probably cut across uh, Holland to get the ferry home. into the mountains. I'm basically cutting across the, uh, the south of, um, of Norway. So I'll, I'll skirt across the south of Oslo. There's a, a big kind of fjord. Um, I'll get the ferry across there. Um, so yeah, about, about 30 miles in. Just, uh, just get rolling really. I got a bit hungry, so I thought I'd stop for dinner. Um, it's the beauty of having the, the stove just to stop whenever, really. And it's nice to get here in the sun, rock to sit on, beautiful place. But why not? So I'll probably have food and then uh, start cruising. But I mean, it's, it's nearly midsummer here in uh, Norway, so I guess it probably won't get dark till nigh or midnight. Um, so there's plenty of time. I'll probably just roll on a bit and do an hour or so and then uh, pitch up the tent somewhere. find somewhere to camp really. Um, looks like there might be somewhere at the end of this lake so see if I can find somewhere flat. Oh blue sky, excellent. Morning, day two rained a little bit early this morning but it's nice now I found this little, little cutting just to sleep in the main roads just behind that wall there so um yeah just stuck away down here and uh, yeah got a nice little sleep Morning. I was a bit slack getting going. Uh, it's quite nice actually, just touring. I'm uh, been in like, race mode most of the summer. Nice just to get ready as and when, have a long breakfast, nice coffee. It's uh, well, it's about eight, half eight now. Exciting. 
and my first gravel road. A bit unexpected because I, th I thought I was on tarmac for most of the way through Norway, so uh, yeah, kind of cool. Bad view, is it? I'm riding around this long lake for what, an hour and a half, two hours now. Just uh, let's put down on the banks, but um, obviously the road goes up and over for a bit. But yeah, ticking along nicely 115 odd miles for the day. It's so hot though, it's really got warm now. Had been in the kind of sort of alpine area, I guess, and um, walking around a thousand meters, and now we're down. Well, sort of 500, 400. So it's warmed up. It's like 35 degrees now. Yeah, I can't walk. Might jump in the lake before dinner and bed. Just it's horrible. I don't even like swimming, so it must be hot. That's quite nice. Shower checked off. Could have stayed in the campsite over there, but I figured that this is quite a nice secluded beach spot, so camp here, have some dinner, and uh, get rolling again tomorrow. Well, third day, camp next to the lake last night, that was pretty cool, so quiet and nice. And yeah, rolling towards Oslo today, well, south of Oslo. So we just stopped for <clears throat> spot of lunch. Um, about 57 miles, so that's uh, just over halfway to the, uh, the ferry that I need to get tonight or this evening. Um, not much report really. Um, I guess as I'm getting closer towards sort of the main um, <clears throat> like urban area of, of Norway, it's, um, it's obviously not so remote. More towns, roads are a little bit bigger, slightly more traffic. Um, yeah, it's fine. Just kind of looks like this all the time. It's trees, roads good. Um, quite pleasant. Um, so I guess my my overall impressions of Norway. Um, I mean, it's a lovely, clean country, and uh, I mean the mountains earlier on were spectacular, um, and the water just in the streams is so crystal clear. Just drink it straight out of streams, no filtering. Um, you can camp wherever you want. That's really great. There's loads of, loads of cool camp spots. Um, roads are great. There's loads of good cycle infrastructure, especially in the towns. Um, on the on the main roads in the in the country, there's Maybe not so much in the way of cycle infrastructure. Um, so I think the drivers probably aren't quite as used to cyclists. Um, excuse me, can be passed a little bit close sometimes. Um, but yeah, love it so far. I'd definitely like to explore sort of further, further north in more of the wilderness. Great thing about Norway, it's um, there's like the right to roam rules, so you can camp wherever you want. So, um, <coughs> as long as I'm tucked out of the way, it should be fine. Ta da! Right, I'm into bed. Long day. 10 hours on the pedals, and uh, it's supposed to be a touring holiday. So 
So, rolling into day four on the, the ride home from Norway. Um, today should be a bit of a monument day, first border. Um, crossing into Sweden in about, probably about 50 miles or so. Uh, until that point, it looks like it's predominantly these nice cycleways. Um, yeah, wake up feeling good. Legs feel strong. I've got a theory that that normally takes three or four days for your body to really get what's going on. Um, so yesterday morning I felt pretty rubbish. Um, but I woke up feeling great today, so that's a good sign. Um, I kind of reckon actually that you've got quite a lot of carbs and stuff stored in your muscles, so you burn through that the first couple of days and then the third day you kind of body's just learning how to burn fat, so I think I'm at that stage now. So it should all be good. Welcome to Sweden. Not a very, uh, not a very big border. There's a small sign and uh, the road went a bit crappy, so, so far so good. So from where I am now, it's about 100 miles to Gothenburg. Um, and from there, uh, there's a ferry across to Denmark. Uh, there's a town in about 40 odd miles. It's like a few hotels there. So I might get a room tonight. Just been shopping easily for breakfast some more rice some tuna and sweet corn and some chips and uh, I'm just gonna try and find a hotel room uh, and then I've got all the food for the next few days oh, the classic finding the errors of my ways I checked hotels earlier and there was loads and uh, I thought oh, I'll just turn up I won't bother booking yeah I thought I won't bother booking and all the reception shut at seven so I can't get a room and I've got a drag across town I found one I should have just bloody camped, shouldn't I? I've not been soft, but there we go. Yes. Well, that was a long day. Time to make my tuna and rice, clean my kit, have a shower, and then have a big old sleep. Well, rolling into day five. Rolling into Gothenburg as well. Um, not pictured is the headwind, which has been a pretty much a constant since the trip started, so I'm hoping that will change at some point. Um, but it's nice it's not so hot, because it's been pretty hard work actually. Um, so yeah, I mean my impressions of Sweden, actually I'm a bit gutted, I'm only going to spend two days here. Um, I've actually preferred it to Norway. It's not quite as polished, there's a bit more character in it. Um, and actually I found uh, the people are a bit more friendly and approachable. Not, not, in a, not sort of trying to be horrible out in Norway, but um, I think I've had more conversations in the, well, less than a day and a half I've been in Sweden than I did in the whole time in Norway. I think people are just a bit more sort of open initially, which, uh, well, when you're traveling by yourself, it's quite nice to have a chat every now and again. Gothenburg, not quite in the centre yet, but not far off, so looks like I should be just in time for the ferry. Um, so I'm probably going to roll straight to the port now. Um, it's probably a good time to, to end this. I think I'm going to make it a, a two part saga. So I have to tune in next time and see if the, uh, the ferry makes it to Denmark. Don't forget to like subscribe to, to see the next one and uh, to follow and all that nonsense and see you soon.